How are you all? This is a video tutorial for Pinterest Feed plugin where we will see its installation and configuration to show your Pinterest profile on your website or blog. We will start with installing the plugin to your website's backend. Click on add new button and search for Weblizar under the author category. You will find all our plugins those are live on wordpress.org and Pinterest Feed being our latest plugin will be on top. Once you'll see Pinterest pin boards profile, click on install now and after few minutes you will see activate button, which implies that plugin is successfully installed and now you have to activate it by clicking on activate button. This is what Pinterest feeds admin panel looks like. With bunch of options to look out for, we'll start with generating our Pinterest access token. Click on get your Pinterest access token which will redirect you to Pinterest token generation page. Where on clicking on generate token button, you will be asked your Pinterest credentials to authenticate that you own the profile. Since each profile has its unique token ID. Once your token is generated, copy paste it into access token field and hit the save button. After clicking save, you can successfully see your Pinterest username in the user ID field. It means that token is successfully integrated into the plugin and Pinterest feed is all set to showcase your pins and boards on your website. Now we will move on to settings tab where we have lot of options to customize our plugin as per our need. We have live preview section through where we can see live changes of our plugin while we are still playing with other options. You can show any pre-saved template, decide whether to show your profile image, name, description or total counts etc on your Pinterest profile through user profile settings. Pin settings include any pin templates, board slugs and the limit to board slugs you want to use. on how to use section and you will get to know what short codes you have to use to display your feed and your profile. It also has widget settings tab. Now let's see how we can show the output of plugin through short codes. You can display this plugin anywhere on your site. Simply copy the short code whether it is for feed or your profile and paste it anywhere on your backend. Whether it's your website's header, footer, sidebar or any specific page, Pinterest feed fits everywhere. If you don't want to show your pins to everybody, just add pins equals to off in front of your feed ID and it is all sorted for you now. Let's see some Pinterest feed widget features. You can add Pinterest feed or Pinterest profile widget to your sidebar or footer. Just drag and drop the place where you want it on your website. At last, do not forget to rate this plugin on WordPress as your support is essential for us. 
Thank you for watching Pinterest Feed tutorial and please subscribe Webdesign channel on YouTube to stay updated with all latest news on WordPress themes and plugins by Webdesign. And do not forget to share this video.